today we're going to demonstrate how to install grass protector. On this particular site, our staff use the grassed area for car parking and the constant vehicle traffic creates ruts and compaction, making it very difficult for the grass to grow. We want to retain the green aesthetics and we'd still like our staff to park here without damaging the grass. That's why we're going to install grass protector. Grass protector is an extruded polyethylene mesh that is green in colour and designed to reinforce grass. It does that by stopping rutting and compaction of the soil. The installation process is quite simple. We'll prepare the site by mowing back the grass, filling any low-lying areas with topsoil, we'll then roll out the grass protector and pin it to the ground and we'll finish off the installation with a light dressing of topsoil. We've completed the site preparation. We've mowed back the lawn and filled any low-lying areas in with topsoil. We've mowed back the lawn to allow the regrowth to come through the grass protector, which is very important for reinforcement. If we left it long, it would grow underneath and push the matting up. Grass protector is UV stabilised and has an oscillated design, which gives it a non-slip factor, very important for pedestrians. We've rolled our first matting out here onto our lawn. But if you had just soil, you could seed the soil and then roll your matting out. The pinning of the grass protector is very important. You don't want any ripples forming in your grass protector. So the best place to start is in the bottom corner. We're using 150mm steel pins. It's very important that the pin, or the top of the pin, does not cross over the mesh, but goes with the, uh, with the weave of the mesh. That allows your lawnmower, once the grass has grown through it, to travel over and not get caught. It also prevents any damage to the grass protector. Start at the short edge first at 300mm intervals and then pin along the long edge at 300mm intervals as well. Then as you pin down the centre of the grass protector, use a triangular pattern, like here, there and then down to here. The pinning is very important because you need to get the grass to grow through the grass protector. That gives it the strength, the grass aesthetic and bonds the grass protector to the ground. If you do see any bubbling or rippling over time because grass protector does expand being a plastic, go back and pin it in those areas. The grass protector comes in two sizes, two metres wide by 20 metres long or one metre wide by 10 metres long. When laying the second piece of grass protector alongside the first, we join them with a single pin every 300 millimetres. We leave a one centimetre gap, which allows for expansion during the hot summer months. And that's a good tip for installation. Avoid days that are 40 degrees or more. We're using grass protector for our staff car parking, but it also can be used on golf courses for the buggy pathways or overspill car parks at churches, sports grounds or universities. It can also be used in a residential use for extra car parking, parking your trailer or your caravan or your boat. The mesh aperture in the grass protector allows for the rain to infiltrate into the ground so it reduces your water runoff. It's very important to install grass protector on soil that can sustain grass growth and is free draining. We've finished spreading out our topsoil and we'll give three to four weeks rest period to allow the grass to grow through the grass protector. It's a very simple, do-it-yourself, low-cost grass reinforcement solution. We're at the X8 car park at Macquarie University that was installed in 2011. Part of the brief for the car park was that it had a lifespan of 10 years. It had a carrying capacity for vehicles and buses and it also assisted in water infiltration to reduce stormwater runoff because the car park is adjacent to a local creek. The design of the car park is asphalt in the main thoroughfares and grass protector in the car parking bays. The grass protector's open mesh design promotes water infiltration which assists in reducing stormwater runoff. It also has a load bearing capacity for vehicles with up to six tonne per axle, fitting in with the university brief. 
You can't see it as the grass is growing through the grass protector, but it's there protecting the root zone. The only maintenance is mowing of the lawn to keep it at your desired height. Macquarie University has found Grass Protector a very real solution for their car parking need and a very low cost option. Grass Protector, a great ground reinforcement solution that can be used on large scale applications or small residential areas. If you have any questions on how to install Grass Protector on your site, give us a call at Allstake Supply on 1300 130 123.